How you doing guys? Today I'm going to do an updated review on the Real Grip product. Um, I have an initial video out which I'll leave a link to up here in the top corner if you're interested in watching that one first. Uh, just want to do an update and add to that video there. Um, so I've used the Real Grip product now just a little bit over a year. Uh, I did that video I think it was seven months ago and I had owned them already for a few months and I just wanted to add to that video some things that I found with them. Uh, I'm still definitely impressed with the product and I'm going to continue to use them, but I just wanted to offer you guys one of the negative things that I found with them. So if you haven't watched my videos before, I'm a big fan of the Alba Garcia Pro, uh, the Max series, which is your $100 or less reels. And what they have here is, uh, I just believe in my opinion that the knob is efficient, but just a, a little small and that I found that when I added the real grips onto there, you know, it bulked it up a little bit. I just get a nicer, firmer grip and it just feels more comfortable with the material that the real grips are made of. And I just feel like I get a better torquing power with that easier grip on those handles. Um, you'll see here though, I have one taken off, which was on one of my recent trips. And as well as on this one here, which is the Alba Garcia Oramax. Now this one I think is a little bit over a hundred, maybe 119 or something, but you can see I have one still on and one off. What you'll find with some of your more budget reels, um, the grips are usually like a hard, I don't know what a plastic with like a rubber molding on them or something like that. But they're usually small in size, which is not a big deal. I just like the bulkier uh, uh, grips which the real grips provide. And um, as you can see, I've taken one off of each side. Now. I found with some of my more recent purchases up in price, up in quality, such as the Ardent Apex Grand and down below is the uh, Abu Garcia Revo STX. They have from the factory some nice bulky EVA grips to where I found that me personally I've had no need to use the real grips on those products. But the purpose behind this video is that I found within temperatures of 40 degrees and below, that's at least for me. It could be even within the 50s for some, but I found within temperatures of 40 degrees and below that these things actually hurt my fingers. Um, if you wear gloves, you know, it might not be an issue. I just yet to not find a pair of full size, uh, full finger length gloves that I feel comfortable with wearing without worrying about getting my hook stuck in them or the bass's teeth uh, get, getting his uh, mouth stuck to my gloves while trying to release them that I only wear fingerless gloves. So I'm always a skin to grip contact type of person and I've, I've noticed this problem uh, for a while now but it was my most recent outing or second to most recent outing that it actually hurt me so bad that I ended up ripping the grips off at least on one side. So I like them that I'm, I still left one on but I just took off another so that way you know just while cast and retrieve you know as my fingers were really cold you know it was kind of hurting. And uh, I was out once in 20 degree temps, neither say I didn't catch anything and it was bothering me, but it was manageable. I didn't, you know, I didn't feel the need to take off those grips. But within the most recent outings, you know, I've been now catching fish and the additional uh, force put into reeling in those fish, it was just really hurting my fingers. So needless to say, I just wanted to add this as an update to my real grip initial review opinion video. Now it might be just me that I have sensitive skin, girly fingers, I don't know what it is, but hey, just for you out there who also might uh, encounter this, just want to make this review to let you guys know that I am still, yes, impressed with the Real Grip product. I will still, yes, continue to use the product. It's just, I think for now on, every winning, every coming up winner, I'll probably just remove one grip off of each reel, just in case, you know, it starts to hurt, I'll have just a switch between handles to actually reel in a fish. Alright you guys, hopefully this review has helped you out and you guys uh, take care and have a good day.